Hello and welcome to week two of The Buzz. I am Tom Beamer, just like I was last week. A little confused though about this being week two of The Buzz since it's week one of the football season because it starts with week zero. I don't understand the wording because there are no worthless zero games. And last week in week zero, there were a lot of good games. There was no better game than Norfolk Catholic's 31 to 27 win over Columbus Lakeview. The Knights fell behind 14 to nothing early, battled back on the shoulders of Jackson Love, the senior running back, 28 carries, 232 yards, three touchdowns. Norfolk Catholic also found that it might have itself a pretty good kicker again this year, Chase Farley. A 45 yard field goal early in the game got Norfolk Catholic on the board. Would have been good for 55 yards. The Knights, again, if they can develop as the season progresses, they should be in for a pretty fine year. Another team that kick-started its season was the Norfolk High Panthers. With just the right amount of kick, the Panthers opened up a 42 to nothing lead on North Platte en route to a 63 to 14 win. That 42 to nothing lead, by the way, was in the first quarter. Now, Norfolk High, Coming into the year, they had a lot of talent coming back, and they have something that a lot of Class A teams don't have, and that's a three-year starter at quarterback. Taylor Reedy was 7 of 8, 143 yards, a couple touchdowns in the win. He only played a half of football. They also had a couple 100-yard rushers and Hayden Johnson and Chase Hopper in Class A. Having a three-year starter at the quarterback position is very rare. That should be a big asset for Norfolk High as the season goes on, not only because of his experience on the field, but because of what he brings to the players around him. A little bit of calm in the huddle, a little bit of uh, veteran leadership in the huddle is always good to have. Norfolk High's schedule is gonna get tougher. They go to Kearney this week. They also have Fremont and Grand Island coming up before they fa face five Lincoln teams in a row to end the season. That's gonna give them a little bit more of a test than North Platte did. Another team that faced a pretty stiff test to start the season was Randolph and the Cardinals made quite a statement with a 38 to 12 win over two-time defending class D1 champion, Elgin Public Pope John. The Wolfpack coming in had won 26 games in a row. They looked like they were in pretty good shape to make it possibly 27 in a row until early in the third quarter, Nolan Nord Hughes of the Cardinals had a 13 yard touchdown run where he barreled over Alex Pelster of Elgin Public Pope John at the three yard line that sent a message to the Wolfpack that the Cardinals were for real, they were there to play. They continued playing throughout the rest of the game. They finished with a 38-12 win. Dylan Loberg, the junior running back for Randolph, 11 carries, 190 yards, a pair of touchdown. He also scored a 74-yard touchdown on the first play of the game, which made it appear as though Randolph, again, was there to play. Now we're moving on to a little segment that we like to call Gridiron Guess Tom... Gridiron guest Tomations. It's a pretty quirky little way of getting my name involved in it. I would have gone with something else, something like No Scrum Thomas! And I would have looked into the future with my crystal ball. Unfortunately, a white beard doesn't quite fit my face. I don't know why. So, Gridiron guest Tomations start out with Pierce at Boone Central, Newman Grove, in Petersburg. That's a lot to say. First game in Peter, Petersburg in quite some time. That in itself should be pretty exciting. Both teams should also be pretty exciting. Pierce returns quarterback Lane Rorick along with an all-state lineman in Charles Kruger. And you know the foundation of Pierce football is built around that offensive line. Boone Central returns a little bit more talent. Derek Gentrop, quite a receiver. Uh, Tyler Headland, another talented receiver. They also have a lot of beef up front. Look for Boone Central because the game's at home and because they return a little bit more to probably win this one by seven to 10 points. In Class C2, Hardington Cedar Catholic at Oakland Craig. Nick Arlt of Oakland Craig should lead the Knights past Hardington Cedar Catholic. He's a heck of a running back. It's Norfolk High, like I said before, they're traveling to Kearney. This is a big game for the Panthers. We will find out a lot about how good Norfolk High is, and I got a feeling that they're going to open even more eyes this week. Reedy in the huddle provides that much of a stabilizing factor for a team going on the road for the first time in the season. The Panthers should win this game by about 10 points give or take seven. Until next week, when I talk about when Calamity Jane, the Gummy Bears, the Smurfs, and Nelson Man Mandela merged together to form a coalition that would one day turn Boone County into the largest remote control racetrack in the world. I'm Tom Beamer for The Buzz.